Breaking news this hour because anti-government leaders in Ukraine's Donetsk and Lugansk regions have announced a list of negotiating points which they will present to Kiev's government at today's talks in Belarus. Let's get more now on this from RT's Paula Slear. Uh, Paula, from what we know, they're not asking for independence, are they? No, they're not asking for independence. As you say, representatives of the Lugansk and Donetsk region are meeting with the Ukrainian authorities in what, in what, in what many see as possibly the first step in what could be a long-term process for a long-standing peace deal. Now, they do recognize Ukraine's sovereignty. There is no intention to see this country fall apart, but rather keep it intact. And they have put forward a list of demands. These include an end to the Ukrainian army's military operation that has been on the go for the better part of half a year. They want to see their fighters and political prisoners receive amnesty. They want official status for the Russian language. And if you remember, it was exactly the opposite of this that caused people to go to the streets in the first place. They're also asking for special territorial status. They want a special economic status, which essentially means closer cooperation with Russia. And they're also asking for special military status, which essentially means recognition for their fighters. This list of demands comes as the anti-government fighters continue with their offensive here in the east of the country. One of the flashpoints has been the town of Ilovaisk, where Ukrainian troops have been surrounded. 